everyone, welcome to a brand new game called Windbound. I'm a little late to the party. Thanks to the devs for hooking me up with the key. This is a brand new survival open world. You build a raft, you have to survive, you go to different islands. It seems pretty freaking sweet. And it's got like, people are saying, it's got like a hint of Zelda to it. And so we're going to hop into this for the first time. Check it out and see what you think. Comment below what you think of the game. And also if you have it and you're playing it. And then also if you would like to see more. Let's do it. Okay, here I am on an island. I went through a portal. I don't know why on earth anybody would go through a portal. Just let the government set up a perimeter, do their testing, and then send somebody through on a rope. That's what I would say. All right, the Lost Islands, Chapter 1. Holy smokes. The uh, sensitivity is crazy uh, low. All right, here we go. So I'm on this. I've woke up. I'm on an island, and uh, we need to survive, okay? The thick, fibrous grass is hardy, and I'm, there's things that can attack you, like you can literally get attacked by things. There's mysterious islands that are just like kind of randomly out there. You can get different bonuses and buffs and there's secrets and stuff like that. Lots of things in this game from what I can see, and so I'm, ex you know, I'm excited to see what we find. Oh, I'm swimming to this island over here. Oh, I see little creatures. Little tiny critters over there. I have a... Is that a bow? I have a knife. I have just a knife. That's it. But it looks like it's showing me that I have a bow. But I only have a knife. Okay. It's just an icon. I think it's just telling me what it is. Starfish. I to bring up the inventory and crafting menu. Okay. Here we go. Uh, press I to bring... We did it. Okay. You never reliable. Do so we got... Oh, there's crafting. Rope. Grass rope. Okay, that's all we have. So, oh, did I make it? I made it. I didn't mean to make it. Palm bag, grass rope, and palm frond. Okay, we're fi we're finding things. It's a crafting survival game. Come here, you little crazy kidder. Oh, we got some berries. All right, there's our food that we're gonna eat. Okay. Oh, it just went in this burrow hole down in here. Dig. Oh, I need a tool. Yeah. Come here, you little thing. What are you? I'm gonna. Take you out. What in the world is this thing? A razor bub. Oh! Get the razor bub. We got the razor bub. That's what you get, razor bub. I don't even know. Oh, look at his body. We got some meat. Oh, okay. Skin. Lock on. And then we can attack. Nice. Dismiss the tutorial. I'm not in combat anymore. Okay, you can go away, music. At least it's a little better. Oh, what's up, Razor Back? You wanna do this? Oh, space is dodge, okay. Oh, you're not very good at the whole combat thing there. Razor Razor Back. So this is like the bait this is like the daddy of the Razor Bub. Okay. Oh my gosh, ouch! Gotta deal with these little psychopathic things. Maniac little beasts. Yeah, get him again. One more time. Yeah, what you gonna do? Razor back, rolling down the hill. There he goes. We got him at least. Okay, unlock. There we go. Interact, please. Ooh, we got bones, meat. All right, and some more skin. All right, nice. Okay, we can use a bone to make a a tool. Digging things out of the ground. Uh, a gore horn crest. What the heck is a gore horn? And thick grass. Okay, there's some kind of weird thing up here. I'm sure this is going to end well. <laughs> now, do I get to store these or... No, I just eat it. No, I can hold it. Okay. But I can hold to eat it. If I find something, I can either tap it and pick it up or I can actually... Like, I found some mushrooms and I just held to eat it. Okay, here we go. Let's go find out what this is. This is, you know, this is always a good thing to find. Okay, part of the story. Here we go. It's a story-driven type of game, too, I guess. Oh, there's something back there behind. I have Cy Sauron back there. Sauron? I have Sauron. What is this? Weird looking... Don't touch it. Look at her. Uh, okay, I'll do it. It's a little emerald baby. Ooh. Ooh. Baby. Oh, it's a staff. It's like a staff with an oar on the end of it. Sweet. This is kind of an interesting shot here. I'm not sure if that was supposed to be that way. 
Okay, we've got enough. The an ornate, mysterious aura. Though ancient, it remains in perfect condition. Occasionally, it trembles in your hands as if something resides within. Yes. Okay. I had to bring up the inventory and crafting menu, then use E to select the boat parts page. <gasps> what? Oh, there it is. Weapons. Okay. Grass sling. Woven graph. While not the most refined of range weapons, it gets the job done. Grass canoe. Here's the boat stuff. Repair parts your boat. Dismantle parts. Grass canoe. Thick grass and grass rope. We need another grass rope. Oh, that's all it takes. There's a fish. Hey, Mr. Fish. I'm assuming there are even larger things. So you don't want to swim in this game, obviously. You want to actually uh, make a boat and get to places. But I'm going to swim to this island because why not? Can I go down? I can't go down from the looks of it. Uh, I need to eat. Is that what I'm saying? Eat? Can I eat in the water? Of course I can. Because why wouldn't you be able to? What's happening? Oh, she's getting exhausted. Whew, we barely made it, Chica. We got here, though. She was about to have some problems there for a second. We got some stones over here. Let's get all this thick grass. Get that. We're going to make ourselves a canoe. She's tired. Look at her. You take a break? You want to lay it down on the ground? That's how you replenish your stamina quickly in is that an arc, right? You do it in arc? All right, crouch. Can you crouch? You can't lay down. All right, how do I get up here? Looks like I need to hop my way up. Oh, here's a staircase. Let's go up. Whoa, we got glowing things. She climbs on her own. I don't even have to do that. That's nice. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Okay. Hop. Oh, we did it. Okay. I don't like... I don't... I've never done well with games where you have to hop across platforms. Never in my life. You remember that one game where you... What was that game called? Uh, where you literally tried to scale... It's just one thing. You try to scale up this freaking mountain forever. And uh, I got about, like, two inches and I kept dying over and over again. It was never... That was not a good thing. What's happening here? I got some ability. She's so surprised. The hunter ensnares her prey? The heck? We got... What? Shooting something off into the distance. There's two. I had one of three there. This beautifully adorned shell resonates with a mysterious power. An arcane relic from a bygone era. Nautilus key, one of three. Ooh, okay. Well, we just climbed up here for a Nautilus key. All right, we're going to make this boat. Oh, put it out in the water. Get way out there. Here we go. Here we go. Let's see how fast we make this. You know. Wow. She is amazing. She is incredibly good at at that stuff. <laughs> okay, here we go. We're going to row. What island should we go to? There's a whole. Oh, I see another thing in the distance over there. And then the glowy thing. So we're going to go that way. Now you can get some pretty cool looking uh, sea crafts. From what I can see. We're going to go to this one. Because you see a glowy thing in the distance. It's pretty smooth. It's not like it. I like it quite a lot. Quite nice. Get out of here. Oh, actually it looks like there's a thing on this one. And something bigger on the other one. That one actually looks. It's got a lot of blue glowing stuff over there. It doesn't look. Uh, <laughs> it looks a little creepy to me from the distance. Hopefully the music's okay. It's very much like putting me to sleep though. Uh, it's classical. I don't want to listen to this as I'm cruising. I want some upbeat rock and roll stuff. All right, looks like we got some uh, things out here in the water. It's about to be nighttime. I don't like nighttime in these games. Any game, really. Oh, there's like tents on this. What in the world? There's tents on this island. Okay. We've breached. What do we have here? Something in the ground. What do I need to? What do I need to dig? We got, oh, we got some, uh, what do I need? We got stick spear, stick, bone spears are brittle weapons, but are able to pierce the hides. Leather. We need, oh yeah, gore horn crest, whatever the heck that is. Made from woven threads, nothing too fancy. Add seven extra slots to your inventory. Grass and palm fronds. We've seen, oh, here's some palms right here. We found the palms. We should, uh, no, I'm going to go over here. Let's go to this first. Before we, oops, I meant to, I, I didn't mean to do that. What is this? These are tents, right? People live here? Hello? Oh, that's not tents. I don't know what this is. These are like eggs or something. 
Come here, little thing. Come here. Get out of that hole. You went in the hole. How do you get the palm fronts? Can I climb the, uh, can I climb up it? Oh, we're going to make some armor right now. That's kind of cool. Storm eye, what? Storm's eye gem? I don't know what that is. It didn't get a recipe thing, so I don't know. I'll have to look at it in a second. Sea shards, more sea shards. It wants us to make some armor. That's what it's saying. So, hi, I see you in here. Okay, we're gonna make, let's make some armor. See what that's like. It's been a while since I played a game like this. Okay, here we go. Boat accessories, anchor. Simple place to store three items. Oh, is that a gore horn? Is that a gore horn? Holy smokes. Uh, I'm thinking that's a gore horn. Maybe. How do I make that sling? Oh, here's all a bunch of survival stuff. Okay, we got fire. An axe, bow, okay, tempest bow, grass rope, look at that, sweet, so we need some, we need more grass, and then we're gonna fight that thing, that's a little, what, oh, I don't have any more space, oh crap, we need more palm fronds, more palm fronds and grass, oh man, the palm fronds are down here, I need to make a bow, man. Need to take, we can get, probably get rid of the rocks that we have. We don't need the rocks. These are the palm fronds, actually. Not the things up there. Little grass. Little green things on the ground. And then once you climb it, I guess. Huh? I need more. I need one more, I think. I'm making, I'm making a bow. Okay. We'll be imbued with deadly lightning and deal extra damage to the nearby. Sweet. Okay. Nice. Okay, we got... Okay, now we need arrows. Uh, sticks. Okay. That thing is definitely the gore horn. It's massive. It's got a big horn on top of its head. It's like a big pig. Here's some sticks. We need sticks. We need sticks. Don't don't you don't come over here, okay? Just stay over there. Do your own thing. I need arrows. I'm gonna try to take that thing out. We're gonna get it. Alright, here we go. We're gonna fight him. Getting up here. Where it's nice and safe. Hopefully he can't run up here. Okay, oh peace on me. He is getting zapped. He didn't want to have anything to do with this. Boom, we hit him. What's up, Gorehorn? Can't deal with this, huh? Having some problems, are you? I don't want to get attacked, but I'm probably in a spot where he could probably attack me. Headshot. I don't think it matters. Look at him, he's getting zapped. Having problems are you there, Gorehorn? Right in the tuchus. I like them apples. Or Tempest Charged Bow of Doom. Hit him again. Oh, how much HP has he got? Oh, can I... Can I lock onto him? No, no, no. Oh, I can't lock onto him. Oh! I need your horn. Okay. I need it for something. This game. Don't call PETA. Don't call Peter, okay? It's not a real thing. It's not a real animal. Some weird giant beast of doom. Interact. Oh my gosh. Oh, did I get my arrows back? Sweet. Nice, I do. That's awesome. Gorehorn Crest, we got it. We took out the massive beast. What would I what did I need this for? Oh yeah, this thing. The the uh the axe. The, uh, no, the digging tool, that's what I'm saying, that's what I mean. Hi, little guy, how are you doing? In this one, we need leather stick and a gloom harrow jaw. Whatever the heck that is. Wow. We're going up to the next thing. Uh, I shouldn't have used all the sticks, because I do need a stick for, you can make a mast. And I wonder if I can just put it on my, on my canoe, it'll make it go way faster. Okay, sweet, it's another one of these things. And we're gonna go to that crazy looking island next over there. It's definitely a really beautiful looking game. I like it a lot. Look at me. Oh yeah. We're going to that crazy looking island over there. 
now it's like glowing. It's like on fire or something. I'm not. Maybe that's the last place. We, I'm not entirely sure what that is. I wonder if I can get anything from these coral areas. And I have to assume there's some kind of. Oh gosh, I did damage. I have to assume that there's some kind of uh, monster that wants to destroy us down in here. Also, there's lightning in the distance. What is this island? Oh, the physics, like the wave physics, is actually really good. Look at this monster. I was pushing against some pretty big waves there for a second. Um, what is going on here? What in the world is this? Okay. What if I do damage when I run aground? I don't think so. Just when I hit the coral. All right. What in the world is this crazy looking thing? Okay. There's a. I'm gonna open a portal or something, or a, a gateway or some kind. Interact. There we go. Oh, look at that. Look at that craziness. Things are happening over here. Weird things are occurring. Large raw meat has degraded. I was gonna eat that. Not really. I didn't even think about it. I don't want to miss anything. It seems like there could be things I'm gonna miss here if I'm not paying attention. Well, I'm almost, I don't want to fall off of this. I don't think I can, but I'll see. You never know. It's kind of a weird camera angle. We're going up. Hmm. That didn't actually open anything up. You can see them lit up. I think I only I can only activate two because only I've only gotten two of those things. So I think I need to go get a third one from somewhere and activate it once more and uh, then I think we can come back. So we're gonna have to make, a, make another journey to another island. But I wonder why this one's lit up, the one that I've already been to. Go! <laughs> Crap. Push it out there. Push. There we go. Alright, let's just head to another one, I guess. You know, I'm wondering, can I make two of these canoes and then like make like a crossbar and put like the mast in the middle because i've seen that type of ship in the game but i don't know how to do that other than that's my only thought on how to do that maybe more or less maybe i unlock something a little bit more later on man it is gonna take me ages to get all the way over there okay here we go a little tiny island we're going to here we got one more of these things. I just want to see what that opens. But I have—I think that's what I have to do is get another one unlocked. But we need a couple more things. I'd like to make a mast, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to... What do I have to get to make a mast? Let's see. To make a mast, I need thick grass stick and grass rope. So I can make a, I can make a grass rope right now. Okay, but then I'm gonna need a stick, and I don't know if there's a stick on this island, but I do hope there is. We're gonna get these palm fronds, because we're probably gonna need more of those eventually. There's no stick here, darn it. There's no stick, no stick. Okay, but let's climb up here and get this, get this thing, and then we can maybe go back to that. We'll be able to, because I think that's how this works. That one is empty because it had nothing, I had no power to insert into it open up whatever this thing does i'm not entirely sure all right here we go let's see if this works it's lit up now so i think it's going to yeah there we go that's what it was just had to get all three makes sense i don't know why i didn't do that to begin with thought maybe i could go here all right let's go up here and see is this like another portal or something this chick's always running in the portals for some reason what in the world what is this what is this place some, give me, about to give me some kind of ancient power or something. Okay. It's like a golden nugget. Take it. Take it. Indiana Jones style. Huh? Oh, that voiceover. That voice acting. Ooh, look at that. It matches. It's floating on its own. I don't know if that'd be my reaction. Huh? Like, what the crap is happening? Okay. I'm in an arena. About to fight some massive beast. What in the world is going on here?
They like them Nautilus. Little ships, big giant Nautilus ship. Little Nautilus in the in the ocean. It's sunk. Oh no, it's the island. Is that it? Is that what that means? It's the island? It's like a city? That's where we're at right now, isn't it? Oh, thing opened up. I'm not too sure. The first crossing. Rejection. Uh, what? This is like... Boatman. Boatman. Where's the boatman to carry me across to the... To Hades. That's what this is like. Look at this. Okay, we're gonna go down here. This isn't ominous or creepy or anything. What the heck? Um, well, it's not a, not a city. An actual being. Oh, I needed that. <laughs> Can't you see? I need some mushrooms right about now. With about to fight this, or I don't even know what exactly is gonna happen here. Catch the wave. Look at that. Where is it? I'm like, I'm, I'm following. It. Wow, I'm going a long way. So I don't know if there's a difference between the storytelling aspect of it, like if there's two different games essentially. There's a survival and a storytelling aspect, and I'm doing the storytelling because I thought that sounded more intriguing to me. And we're definitely getting a storytelling aspect, although it does have a little bit of survival too, obviously. Oh my gosh. They're crashing these walls over here. There's something red in here glowing and uh spinning? What? What is happening in here? It's another portal. Stay away from the portals, chick. She's always going in the portals. It's never a good thing to go in portals. Look at this trippiness. This is where we're going. We're going to this portal that has fire around it. Bunch of fire. No big deal. Don't mind the fire. Okay. Alright now. So what if that thing was behind me this whole time? Just stalking me. Be a little that'd be a little creepy. Uh okay. Make offering. The effects of poison are greatly reduced. Or weapons cause creatures to bleed, dealing extra damage. Pfft, I'm gonna do that one. I'm gonna just pay my 500 sea shards. Oh, that's where the sea shards are. Okay, I get it now. There it goes. Where is it going? Into this hole up here. Hmm. What is this based off of? Some kind of mythology of some kind? Nautilus mythology? Never heard of it. <laughs> Bestow blessing. Okay. Bless me with your blessingnessness. Uh, okay. Did I get it? Oh, there, it's activated now. Okay. Let's... Okay, we gotta take our boat through there. Let's get our boat. Okay, here we go, into the portal. You know, like I said, it's always a good thing. See a portal in our life. Don't go through it. Okay? Can't. That's not good. That can't be good. Either, like... The flash, or somebody's gonna come out of there, <laughs> or uh, you're you're is a black hole, interdimensional type of thing going on. Not a not a smart idea. Okay, let some dude go through it on a rope and see what happens. We can pull him back out. Guys, I do hope that you uh, enjoyed today's video. This video for today. Um, let me know what you think of this game. I don't know what to make of it. It's it's a cool oceanic survival game in a sense, um, but. I don't really know what to make of everything else that's going on. Now I'm, now I'm just in chapter two, the great famine. All right, uh, thanks for watching. See you guys in the next one.